Oh man, we gotta talk, and I'm gonna get this out the way right now. You guys are watching this gameplay in the background. It is from a VPN lobby. Being upfront, completely honest with you guys, I was on an India server, and honestly, the average lobby KD. You guys can search me up on the Warzone, you know, skill based matchmaking website. The average lobby KD on this was a 1.7. Reason why I'm talking, or 1.07, I'm sorry. The reason why I'm talking about this is because I want to be upfront and honest with you guys, telling you that pretty much your favorite YouTubers slash streamers are doing this. And now that a lot of people know how to, you know, get the quote unquote bot lobbies, uh, it's becoming more and more like normal lobbies because people are doing it. The more people that do it, the more, you know, English people you're gonna be finding in your lobby or ones that, you know, speak your language. That's how I know everybody in this lobby pretty much that I killed was someone that spoke English or Spanish, okay? In the India server. So that's how I know that there's a lot of people doing this and I don't want to expose any, you know, like the top tier streamers or top YouTubers that's their own businessman, but I've ran into a lot of them while just playing this game and doing this and this is how I know that you know a lot of them are doing this and eventually the more people that do this you're going to run into certain people and you're going to find get into their lobbies and you're going to see what type of lobby they're in because you're running the VPN they're running the VPN and I just want to you know bring awareness to this and I know a lot of people are going to be like oh well why why are you why are you expose this man why, why don't you just keep it to yourself because again I'm going to be telling everybody that I want to be honest and upfront with you if there is a cheese mess Method. if there is something that people are doing to quote unquote get you know these gameplays that are quote unquote you know record breaking or something i'm not saying that they did this but i'm just saying that you don't know okay you don't know and this is how people are getting the quote unquote i kill lobbies now i'm not saying that people that do it legit are you know getting doing this i'm not saying that at all i'm just saying that on average all these gameplays that you're seeing just like when it comes to black ops cold war with the reverse boosted lobbies that are getting all these nukes that is how they're doing it i showed you guys how to reverse boost over in black ops cold war and i showed you how to do this on warzone and the same method applies on modern warfare multiplayer now the reason why, like I've said, I'm bringing this up again is to become honest and upfront with you, okay? Be because this channel is built on honesty, right? Like I said, I'll tell you guys when it's a reverse boosted lobby or a uh, gameplay from, you know, using the VPN or whatever. I don't care. What it, if Activision bans me for being honest like that's just really like on their part because so many people they could see like what they're doing and if it hurts like say a bigger creator that's doing this like bro that's so scummy and that's like really really bad like i'm not aimbot and i'm playing literally within the parameters of you know your rule set basically and not cheating this method right here is really scummy when it comes to tournaments and everything because you are playing for a ton of money, a ton of money. And if skill-based matchmaking was not a thing in Warzone and the bot races and the kill lobbies, you know, that would actually mean something because everybody is going to be on the evening playing field. It's a battle royale and it is supposed to be you against everybody else, right? That's basically what the point of a battle royale is. And I don't understand why you have to add skill-based matchmaking into it in order to make it for a player retention, bro. Like, honestly, you're just skewing the numbers and you never know if someone's good. No, like back in the day, like in Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 had skill-based matchmaking until they took it out. And it was actually a showcase of skill because you couldn't reverse boost because there was no skill based matchmaking to reverse boost in. And I'm not saying that, yes, Call of Duty is being revived and skill based matchmaking actually has done more good than harm as far as player retention and bringing players together. But the thing is, it is not an accurate representation of how each battle royale map goes. Say you have someone that has a 0.5 KD and they watch, you know, Tim the Tap Man. I guess that's a pretty bad example. No, no offense to. Him, you, know, you know what I'm saying? But say they watch someone like Swag or Booyah or someone like that that has like a two or three KD and they want to get better and they want to do well, but their lobbies are legit compared to them, quote unquote, 
not bot lobbies, but they're not playing people that are always better than them. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to have a progression system of getting better. But as soon as you get better, you are bumped down because you are not able to keep up with the skill that is placed that you are at the bracket that you are placed in. And that is where the problem comes in everyone that, you know, you can never tell if someone is real or if they're being fake or if like, it's just so skewed. Everything is just so fake on like the gameplay rise because that's why I don't do gameplays anymore. I used to be heavy on gameplays, but I don't do it anymore just because you, there's so many people out there that are faking the gameplays, quote, not, not saying faking, but they are reverse boosting. And a lot of them are like, nah, dude, I don't reverse boost. I, I know a lot of people are really upfront and honest saying, hey, it's a first boost of gameplay. But then again, guess what? I can go and reverse boost and drop a ton of gameplays with any weapon, no problem, and do like everybody else does. But do I want to do that? No, because I feel like it is not an honest gameplay. The nuke that I posted on my channel, that I got during a live stream, and you guys can see I was not reverse boosting or anything. I'm being upfront. Honest, and here's where the problem is. Warzone is a huge game. You have so many hackers, so many big players that are playing this game, and it is really, really sad to see that like they're lying about. Nah, we don't do that, man. Nah, we we we, we what are you talking about? Bot lobbies? No, nah, these lobbies are legit. Like, I'm calling out anybody that does that and says that their lobbies are le like legit, saying that. Oh yeah, like we don't reverse boost or anything like that. But like, dude, something is up, right? Cause you know that like, if they're constantly getting these bot lobbies, there's no way. And now I'm not saying that people that are just really good, you know, at the game and don't do this. I'm not saying that, that, that they are legit, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? But there's no way to tell anymore because everybody is doing this bot lobby thing and VPN and you guys to see, dude, I could do this all day, bro. I could drop high kills in these bot lobbies just because it's just that easy. Like I'm just running at people, killing people. Do I win every single game? No, but I can tell you one thing guys. I have played on this VPN the other night and I got four wins, four wins, man. That is nuts. I would never be able to do that in a, just a regular Warzone lobby. And the thing is, those wins that I got, they were against people that were doing the same thing as me. So it looks like I'm playing in a normal lobby because, you know, it's just like a normal lobby without skill-based matchmaking because people are doing the same thing, but they're just bad, okay? Like, if you're bad, you're bad, man. That's what I'm saying. So I've just made this video to bring light about the truth behind the Warzone VPN bot lobbies and how your, you know, streamers that are doing this, like, just be honest, man. That's all I'm asking. I'm asking everybody to just come out, be honest about it. Maybe if you were honest about it, something could get done because there'd be a riot about it. And it, it, it's just like, if we just band together instead of, you know, doing the scummy things of like, oh, I'm not doing this or this is a problem, like, I'm not, I don't know what you're talking about. These are legit gameplays. Like, yes, some of you are actually legit and true, but I can guarantee you, I've ran into a lot of people with the TTV, big streamers, big YouTubers that have been doing this in India server. You're not telling me that they are not playing legit, even though they say they are. I'm not calling out names. They're gonna come out and tell them at, you know, tell you guys themselves, but I'm just gonna tell you right now that most of these gameplays that you're seeing are not legit and just it's it's really sad okay and i understand that people need to make money need to you know try to make this a career but a career built on lies is just i don't know man you do what you got to do to get the bag i'm not judging you it's just really frustrating when you have someone that is like really honest about you know whatever they do like with their gameplays and stuff and it's it ruins it for everybody that's all i'm saying so hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comment section below what you think about all these people doing bot lobbies and you know just cheesing the system if you're doing it man just be honest about it no one cares if you're honest right like this gameplay guys this wasn't this is from the vpn literally i said that in the beginning of the video so as always guys stay blessed stay humble let me know down in the comment section below what you think and i will catch you in a future video Peace.